today we'll be discussing about the properties of the systems and uh, I'll not be going in depth about solving individual problems rather we'll be doing I mean analyzing individual uh, systems by inspection method now the first problem here is y of t is equal to d by dt of e power minus t into x of t this is the input output relationship which is mentioned here now as we can see first criteria for linearity is if input is the weighted sum of two or more signals if that is my input should be a x1 of t plus b x2 of t so if i replace that here i will be getting d by dt into e power minus t into a into x1 of t plus e power minus t b into x2 of t so which is i can take a out a into d by dt of e power minus t x1 of t and b out into d by dt of b into x2 of t so e power minus t into x2 of t so the system becomes linear in nature now the second property is uh, time invariance that means if there is a shift in the input there should be a sh similar shift in the output that is y of t minus t naught must be equal to t of x of t minus t naught so if there is a shift in the input the shift will only be present in x of t so it will be x of t minus t naught whereas when you shift here it there will be shift in the power of e power t e power minus t as well as x of t minus t naught so uh, both will not be equal the left hand side will not be equal to the right hand side so the system is time variant here the first of all the system is linear and the third is causal see output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant so we can directly say that it is a causal system but it is not the case for memory output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant this is not the necessary and sufficient condition for a system to have memory so the system is memoryless finally uh, for stability we assume that x of t is bounded so when x of t is bounded we know that e power minus t is a decaying exponential so it will look like this so it will eventually lead to zero when t tends to infinity that is why this is bounded and we all we already assume that we'll assume that x of t is bounded so differential of the product of two bounded terms will also be bounded so the system is stable in nature so the input output relationship mentioned here y of t d by dt e power minus t into x of t is linear time variant causal memoryless and stable now coming to the second problem here y of n is represented to be equal to x of n into summation of delta which ranges from with k ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity now first property we are looking at is linearity property so as we already know linearity property means i am replacing my input by weighted sum of two or more signals so if i replace that here i will be getting a into y1 of n plus b into y2 of n so the system is linear in nature second one time invariance time invariance means i am shifting my input by an amount n naught so there will be a shift in n naught here but y of n minus n naught has to be equal to transformation on x of n minus n naught so x of n minus n naught it will be a shift here when uh, if you want to find y of n minus n naught it would be x of n minus n naught into delta of n minus n naught minus 2k so these two are not equal hence the system is time variant third one is causal output at any instant will depend upon the input at the same instant so the system is 
causal in nature if usually when the system is causal it will not be having memory because if output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant that is not the necessary and sufficient condition for a system to have memory so system here is memoryless then finally coming to the stability part we assume that x of n is bounded but since we are summing x of n from minus infinity to plus infinity finally my value output value will reach infinity hence the system is unstable so the problem here the second problem would be linear time variant causal memoryless and unstable now here the system is represented by the input output equation y of t is equal to x of t square now coming for coming to the linearity property i would be substituting instead of in place of x of t as weighted sum of two signals that is a x1 of t plus b x2 of t so if i substitute this i would be getting a x1 x1 of t square plus b x2 of t square and that is equal to a into y1 of t plus b into y2 of t so hence the system is linear in nature coming to the time invariance property time invariance is uh, if there is a shift in the input there should be corresponding shift in the output so if there is a small shift of t not i'll be getting x of t square minus t not whereas for y of t minus t not the entire t term will be replaced by t minus t not so i'll be getting t minus t a uh, t not whole square whereas for the previous case i'll be getting x of t square minus t not which is not equal to x of t minus t not whole square so it is time variant the third property is causal as we can directly see here y of 2 if i substitute y of 2 it will be x of 4 that means output at one instant depends upon the input at future instant so it is non causal now output at one instant depends upon the future values of the input so it is said to have memory then the final is stability we assume that x of t is bounded so obviously if x of t is bounded x of t square is also bounded so my output is also bounded so the system is stable in nature similarly we can solve this problem only the change is it is a discrete system but and n is raised to the power 3 so again if i substitute the weighted sum of two signals i will be getting system as linear system because i would be getting a x1 of n cube plus b x2 of n cube uh, that would be equal to y1 of uh, n a y1 of n plus b y2 of n so it is linear system now time variance time invariance so here if there is a shift in the input there should be corresponding shift in the output see shift in the input would be x of n cube minus n not whereas shift in the output would be x of n minus n not whole cube which is these two are not equal so it is time variant time variant again as i have uh, defined it here it is non causal non causal because i have already given the explanation for it if you put the value of n to be 2 y of 2 is equal to x of 8 that means output at one instant depends upon input at the future instant and non causal but it is having memory because output depends upon input at future instant then if you for stability we assume that input is bounded so my output will also be bounded so it is a stable system now the system mentioned here is i mean both the systems are linear time variant non causal memory they are having memory and stable now the next problem is uh, y of n is equal to log x of n 
Now, for linearity property, I would be replacing x of n by weighted sum of two or more signals, that is, a x1 of n plus b x2 of n. Now, we have log mn to be equal to log m plus log n. Here, we will be getting a x1 of n plus b x2 of n, which will not be equal to a into log x1 of n. So, this system is non-linear system because logarithmic graph is non-linear in nature. Second one is causality or time invariance. Uh, time invariance is if there is a shift in the input, there should be corresponding shift in the output. So, shift is, I will represent it by n minus n naught and y of n minus n naught that means shift in the input is y of n minus n naught shift in the input is log x of n minus n naught and y of n minus n naught is also equal to log of x of n minus n naught so these two are equal hence the system is time invariant now output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant because you have n here and as well as n here so the system is causal system if system is causal it will be usually memoryless because the output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant now coming to the stability part if x of n is 0 we presume that x of n is bounded that is bx which is less than infinity but if x of n is 0 the logarithmic of uh, logarithmic value of zero is undefined so uh, we won't uh, our output won't be stable in nature so the system is unstable now coming here uh, by looking at it only we can say that it is a linear system because i am replacing here x of n x of minus n by a x1 of minus n plus b x2 of minus n so it is a linear system this is an example for a linear system second time invariant now t of x of n minus n naught must be equal to y of n minus n naught t of x of n minus n naught is x of minus n minus n naught whereas y of n minus n naught is x of minus n minus n naught these two are not equal so it is time variant system now coming to the causality it is non-causal because of the simple fact that if you get if you put n is equal to minus 2 y of minus 2 will be equal to x of 2 that means output at one instant minus 2 depends upon the input at the future instant because in the number line minus 2 comes here after that 2 comes here so this is a present value and this is a future value so it is non-causal if it is non-causal it is having memory because output at one instant depends upon the input at the future instant memory now stability is we presume that input is bounded so if input is bounded that its reflection is also bounded so y of n is also bounded since the system is stable in nature now coming to these two problems uh, here the y of t is uh, defined to be 10 x of t plus 5 now we can uh, by looking at the equation itself or input output uh, relation itself will we can arrive at a conclusion that this is non-linear system because if I substitute x of t as a x1 of t plus b x2 of t I should be getting a into x1 of t to be 10 x1 of t plus 5 plus b into x2 of t to be 10 x2 of t plus 5 which is uh, which we will not be getting because there will be a shortage of 5 here. So the system is non-linear. Uh, coming to the time invariance property, if there is a shift in the input, there will be corresponding shift in the output as well. So this is time invariant system, time invariant system. Because transformation on x of t minus t naught will be 10 into x of t minus t naught plus 5 and y of t minus t naught will be will also be equal to 10 into x of t minus t naught plus 5 next one is causal output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant so it is causal if the system is causal it is more likely to be memoryless then the final one is st stability we presume that input is bounded that is x of t is bounded we'll 
get y of t to be bounded so the system is stable in nature now coming to the uh, equation where uh, the system is represented by differential equation so di any differential equation uh, given here will always have memory if you are given with the input output relationship which involves differential that would be that system would be having memory that is the first point we should be remembering that is if input output relationship has a differential term in it then the system will have memory this is a linear system because if you substitute x1 of t you will be getting d1 y1 of t by dt plus t y1 of t then if you substitute x2 you will be getting dy2 and ty2 so if you add you will get the system as linear time invariant this system is time variant just because of the fact that there is t which is a, a defining factor for time variance or time invariance property because the shift in the input will result only here x of t minus t naught but shift in the output also uh, output will affect the value of t here so you will get t minus t naught so that is why system will be time variant causal yes obviously it is causal because output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant when it is causal it is more likely to be memoryless in other cases but not when there is a differential term involved now stability if x of t is bounded y of t is also bounded so the, the system is stable in nature now we have two more questions here uh, out of which the first one is y of t is equal to x of t into cos of 100 by t so by looking at the problem itself you will come to know that if I replace x of t by weighted sum of two signals I will be getting a into y1 of t plus b into y2 of t where a and b are the weights so the system is linear in nature second is time invariance so a shift in the input that means x I will be getting x of t minus t naught into cos of 100 pi t but shift in the output would be x of t minus t naught into cos of 100 pi into t minus t naught so both are not equal hence the system is time variant third one is causality output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant so it is causal since it is causal it has to be usually memoryless if coming to the stability property if input is bounded we are checking whether the output is bounded or not if input is x of t is bounded that means it is less than infinity cause value fluctuates from cause value fluctuates from plus 1 to minus 1 so it is always less than infinity so the system is stable in nature y of t is equal to t into x of t it is linear because x of t can be replaced by weighted sum that is a into x1 of t plus b into x2 of t you will get the responses for individual uh, signals so the system is linear time invariance the system is time variant because the shift in the input will be applicable only to x of t that is x of t minus t naught but y of t minus t naught will be t minus t naught into x of t minus t naught so system is time variant next one is causal output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant so it is causal if it is causal it has to be more or less memoryless and then the final one is if input is bounded we are checking whether the output is bounded or not see if input is bounded x of t is less than infinity but we do not have control over t so t can go to infinity so system is unstable in nature so I have uh, solved almost all types of problems under uh, properties of systems hope this will be helpful thank you